Oh yeah. So take your massage ball, pop that underneath your foot, and we're going to place the heel on the floor. And we're just going to be moving your ankle. So bending your ankle to try and reach your big toe to the floor, and then bending the ankle to try and reach your little toe to the floor. So try to keep the knee straight so that the movement is happening at the ankle itself. This is really good for um, if anyone is suffering from any knee pain, and maybe there is a little bit of limited mobility at the ankle, this could help. So swapping feet, and we're going to do the same thing with the other foot. Let's do one more. Then sitting down on your bottom, we're going to do your wipers to one, so knees drop to one side, and then we're going to come up onto your knees, trying not to use your hands as much as possible. So shifting the knees the other way and see if you can come up onto the knees without using your fingers. If you need to, of course, feel free to push off a little bit with your hands if necessary. So just make it work for you. I'm shuffling forwards, that's normal by the way. So if you're shuffling forwards, that's perfectly fine. You might need to just shuffle yourself back again. Good. One more of these. Lovely. And then going up to standing, we're going to roll down towards the floor as you exhale. Inhale down here. And then as you roll up, sorry, I bug on my mat, didn't want him to stay there. <laughs> Rolling down, tuck your chin towards the chest, exhale, inhale down here, and then exhale to come back up and open your chest. Two more of these. Last one. Mind stretches. Preferably you can do this up against the door, but if you don't have a door, you can do this without um, holding on to anything. So if my right hand is on the door, my right side is on the door, I'm going to take my left foot and we're going to show the sole of the foot. Take your left bicep into your ear and hold on to the door with both your hands. Then pull your hips away from the door. If you don't have a door handy, you can do the same thing, but without holding on. So breathe. Try to direct your breath into both sides of your ribs. Imagine that the shoulder blades are moving away from each other. Lovely. Then we'll swap sides. So my left side is closer, closer to the door. My right sole of my foot is showing Stepping that right leg in front, right bicep into the ear, reaching that right hip away from the door and breathe. Mm. 
And coming back to the center, we're going to take your um, massage ball and come into a calf stretch. So it doesn't matter which side you're stretching. I'm stretching my right leg. I'm keeping my back leg straight. I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to massage into my left side chest, but it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that we're not arching the back and we're just sort of bringing that pelvis into neutral. So pubic bone forwards a little bit so that then you can feel a bit more of a stretch at the front there. And then swapping legs, same thing, swapping hands as well. And breathe. Well, it's annoying this color, it keeps catching. Okay, swapping legs. This time we're going to bend your back knee as well. Still thinking about your pelvic tilt being in a neutral. These feel quite tender today, my um, chest muscles. Let's swap. Bending that back knee again. Good, now quads, alternating legs. So knees together, pubic bone forward, exhale. Inhale as you transition to the other leg. And again, breathing out. Breathe in and breathing out. Breathe in and breathing out. Breathe in. Let's do two more. Good. From them and grab your resistance band. Pop it underneath one of your feet. We're just going to side. Drop your legs side to side. You can swat, switch arms. You can keep one arm working. It's totally up to you about what which hand you're holding the band with. I like to switch. And the idea is to try and keep the opposite hip on the floor as the leg moves away and the same side hip on the floor as the leg moves across your body. so that the stretch is coming from the leg um, and the connection between the leg and the pelvis. Good. And then swapping feet. I'm going to do the same thing with the other leg. And open. And close. And open. Lovely. Um, staying on your back, 
We're going to drop our knees outwards, keeping the soles of the feet touching. You can place your hands either on your tummy or your tummy and chest, or you can have your arms by your sides, whatever feels comfortable for you. And sometimes this position might not be comfortable for everyone. So if you feel like you need it, you can grab a couple of pillows, pop it underneath your uh, thighs, the outside of your thighs, just to support the inner thighs a little bit more. Making sure we're releasing your jaw, your lips, your muscles around your eyes, your forehead. Breathing into your rib cage, to your back. Softening your tummy. Relaxing your fingers, your feet, your toes. Right, let's take three more breaths here. Gently relaxing into that breath. Lovely. And then a rolling over onto one side. Use your arms to push yourself up. And you're all done. Okay. Seems simple, okay. 